Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Please subscribe followed by the bell. The iPhone 15 Pro Max retains the high-res 48MP main camera that debuted with the iPhone 14 Pro Max, but adds some neat features like customizable default focal lengths for the main camera, new 24MP default photo size, as well as a 5.0x periscope camera that provides a 120mm equivalent. A new version of Apple's Photonic Engine as well as improved HDR would help the next iPhone deliver even better photos than its predecessors. Improved portrait photography allows the phone to capture depth data even when you're taking regular photos, allowing you to transform these into portraits later on. Better low-light photography is also coming. The Galaxy S23 Ultra, however, totally wins in the pure specs game, as it comes with a 200MP camera with a large one of 1.3. Inch ISIS LHP2 sensor. In good lighting, the Galaxy S23 Ultra uses quad pixel binning to produce very detailed 50MP photos. But when the light goes down, Samsung's best phone will combine 16 pixels into one to produce 12.5MP photos with excellent dynamics. The big change, however, is the new 5.0x periscope camera of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which certainly boosts the zooming capabilities of the phone. However, the iPhone's new periscope camera wouldn't be able to match the 10x periscope camera of the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which allows for up to 100x digital zoom, which is as long as they come, at least in the US. The front-facing camera on the Galaxy S23 Ultra has actually been demoted to 12MP all the way from 40MP on the S22 Ultra, but that hasn't deteriorated the image quality. In fact, it has improved in some situations. We don't know if the iPhone 15 Pro Max will score a new FaceTime camera. Chances are we will still get the 12MP one from the iPhone 14 Pro Max. When it comes to video, the Galaxy S23 Ultra has scored improved image stabilization as well as staggered HDR that delivers excellent dynamic range. 8K video at 24 and 30 frames per second is supported, while the iPhone 15 Pro Max gets ProRes 4K at 60fps video. The iPhone 15 Pro Max will come with stereo speakers, bottom-firing loudspeaker, and another one in the earpiece. With the iPhone 14 Pro Max, we got one of the best-sounding phones, so the expectations are already quite high for its successors. The same applies to the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which also comes with exemplar audio reproduction. When it comes to haptics, iPhones have set the bar for years now with their super-accurate and exact vibrations, delivered by the Taptic engine. The Galaxy S23 Ultra's haptic feedback wouldn't disappoint you either, it's superb as well. The iPhone 15 Pro Max has a slightly larger 4422 mAh battery, but despite the newer chip, Apple says that the phone has generally the same battery life as its predecessor. Certainly, the iPhone 15 Pro Max will likely last you at least a day of regular usage, but slightly less during intensive tasks and gaming. The Galaxy S23 Ultra, on the other hand, has a 5000 mAh battery, which helps it endure quite a lot, too. However, at least in our custom battery benchmark tests, the Galaxy S23 Ultra lasts less than the iPhone 14 Pro Max on a full charge. This could mean that the iPhone 15 Pro Max could do the same. The iPhone 15 Pro Max supports 20W wired charging while the Galaxy S23 Ultra supports 45W wire charging. There will also be 15W MagSafe wireless charging on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, as well as 15W Fast Wireless Charging 2.0 on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The Samsung phone also has reverse wireless charging, whereas the iPhone 15 Pro Max doesn't have anything of the type. So, without being said let me know your thought in the comment below. And if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video, one peace out.